Okay, we're back at our FTP client. Let's go ahead and open this again. And you can see that I've already got this in here, but let's paste it the way that it comes. So just go ahead and highlight that and get rid of that because that's not the embed code that we have. Delete all that stuff. Okay, now we'll just paste in the code that we just copied from YouTube. Paste it in. And now, remember this did not change because it wouldn't let us change it because we used a size smaller than 200, but we remember that it's 191 pixels and it was 137 tall. That's 191 wide, 137 tall. Okay, now there's two spots that you have to actually make this modification in this YouTube embed code though. So let's scroll all the way to the right and there's another, oops, there's another area over here, right here. Okay, you have to change them both. 191 wide by 137 tall. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save that. And the nice thing about FileZilla is it actually just noticed that I made a change on the file that was on my desktop. So it asked me if I want to update the file that's on the server, and I'll say yes. So there it makes those changes without me having to copy and paste files or drag them from one location to another and overwrite it. It just made the changes and it saved it. So we're good to go. And just to kind of show you what I'm talking about, let's view edit this. And I'm going to discard the local file and then download and edit a new file from the server so we know. And here we go. This is the modified file because before it said 560 by 339 or whatever that number was. Scroll all the way over, and we still have 139 by one or 191 by 137. Okay, we're good to go there. So let's go ahead and close that and close that. Now the next thing we need to do is actually get into the back office and. Uh, install the module. I've already installed it, but I'm going to go through the motion so you can see how it's done. So in modules, since we dropped the add stuff module into the modules folder on the web host, it's going to come up right here. So you can see it's ecartservice.net and it's the add stuff module. I've already installed it, but when you get it and drop it in there, the first thing you're going to have to do is click on the install button. So I can uninstall it here really quickly and then you can see what I mean. Okay, so now you can see the module is uninstalled. Let's go ahead and reinstall it. Now that we've installed it, we need to configure it. Okay, now remember where I kind of made a big deal about the file name uh, mystuff.html or mystuff hyphen YouTube video.html. That's the information that you put in this box. Stuff to add. That's the HTML or JavaScript file that you came up with. So I actually want to be sure I'm getting the right file. I don't remember what it is, so I'm just going to go back here and highlight that and copy that. And then I'm going to go back to my browser and I'm just going to paste that in there. Okay, so this is the file that we're going to pull from, my stuff, YouTube demo.html. And uh, we'll play around with this a little bit, but for right now, I'm going to say that I do not want to install this in a standard box. Okay, then we're going to update stuff. So now it knows what file we're going to use, and we don't want to use a standard box. All right, the update was successful. Now, th now that we've got the module installed and we have the correct file that we want, we've updated it, we've chosen the box, we need to actually place that module. So the next thing you need to do is go to Positions. Now, I've already got the module placed, and I chose to stick it in 
the left column block. Well, you don't have to stick it in the left column block. In fact, I'm going to get rid of this here. So I'm just going to delete that module that I had added there. So I deleted it, and now you can see that it's no longer in the left column block. Let's say I wanted to put it in the right column block. So I'm going to go up here to transplant a module. And I'm going to add the module, add stuff. I guess it's alphabetical, so it came up first. And I'm going to hook that into the right column. Now I originally had it here in the left column, but I'm going to put it in the right column. And I'm going to save that. So now let's scroll down a little bit, and you can see that the add stuff is in the right column. And it's in the very bottom of the right column, which is good enough for now. You can actually move it by changing its location just like that, or you can hit the up or down arrow and put it wherever you want. So I think, um, I think I'll leave it, well, actually let's, let's just put it here below the cart block. Okay, let's go back to our store. Now this is what it originally was, was in the left block, and now I just moved it over to the right block. So let's hit refresh or reload. Now you can see it's gone here, and it's in the correct location here. And you can also see that it's a little bit different than the other blocks here, because I told it I didn't want the standard block wrap. We just wanted to go without that. So that's why this is what it is. And that's why it doesn't have any of these rounded corners and you don't see the grays and stuff like that. Now if I did want to add that look that you see here with the header and um, with the background, we can easily do that by modifying the module. So let's go back to modules scroll down to configure and then display in the standard block yes we're still going to be missing one thing because I eliminated the header and I'll show you how to add that back in okay so we've got that updated let's go back and reload and we're gonna have a little problem here now because you can see that the video is being pushed off the edge there it actually adds uh, some spacing. I think it's about uh, 0.7 m's of space on the bottom and on the sides here. And uh, what that means basically is that we need to modify this video. And you can play around with that a little bit. I haven't done that myself, but you have to shrink it up even more. Maybe take it down to 175 or 180 pixels and see what fits to make sure that you've got about the same um, padding on the left, the bottom, and the right, okay? But uh, that's essentially how you can make it look just like the other blocks if you want. So now let's talk about how to add the header back in that I had removed. To add the header back in, you need to be in your file. And actually, we're going to look at both of them. I've got my text editor here. We'll open this up. And this is my modified My Stuff YouTube demo version. This is the original version, well, sort of original. I had modified the header section to say join our newsletter for another project I was working on. All I'm going to do is copy this because this came with it originally. So we'll oops, copy. And then I'm going to put it back over here. I'm going to give myself a space. And then I'm going to paste that. And I'm going to change this wording. Um, I don't know. We'll say, look at my cool video. Now, you're restricted on your width here, too. You have to still stay less than that 191 pixels, but let's see if that fits. So I'm going to save this and should give me the opportunity just to go ahead and upload that. Now that we've got this updated, uh, we're still using the same file because all we did is modify the YouTube file. So it should be as simple as going to 
the browser and refreshing and there we go here we have our header in place and it says look at my cool video so other than getting this YouTube video to look a little bit better because it needs to be narrower in order to get the same padding on the left bottom and right that's all you need to do to play around with this and make it look very similar I don't know that you necessarily need to do that because it's so unique um, you could probably go without the standard block look but if that's something that you like and you want to maintain that consistency feel free to do it and just play with the width until you get it right so that's really all there is to installing the add stuff module and integrating a YouTube video into it one thing that you should be aware though and I'm gonna figure out how to, how to overcome this is you can only have one add stuff block module on your page at a time because if you tried to add another one it would basically just put the same information that's in here in a module say if you put it over on the left side I think what I'm gonna work on next is how to create multiple add stuff block modules by maybe adding some numbers to them or something like that so I can have an add stuff one add stuff two and then you can have more or less uh, what I hope to have is an unlimited amount of user created block modules just from this very very basic um, add stuff module so that's kinda of my next project so I hope this has been of some use to you I really want you to use your creativity and come up with cool stuff that you can put in this add stuff block it, it really is almost unlimited you can put videos you can put uh, affiliate offers advertisements and I know there's already an advertisement block but this is uh, this is just another way to do something very creative and very unique you can put in HTML code um, you can put in JavaScript it really seems to be relatively unlimited and what you can do ex with the exception of the width being maximum 191 pixels but the height uh, will adjust so you can have it very very tall you could do a very tall banner ad if you wanted to like 460 pixels tall and it would just adjust to that particular height so it's really cool it's really flexible so I hope you enjoyed this and I look forward to you seeing the other videos which I'm going to create which uh, one that's is going to be especially important for those people who do email marketing which I hope all of you do email marketing and newsletter marketing is look forward to seeing my Aweber integration into the add stuff module and you will see how you can integrate an Aweber form uh, and get newsletter subscriptions and then market to those people with quite a bit more sophisticated tool than what comes with PrestaShop and I use Aweber but you know you could potentially use Constant Contact or Eye Contact or MailChimp uh, because this add stuff module makes everything so flexible so anyway I will see you next time